It was really important for me to have a say on the issue of euthanasia because I think a lot of New Zealanders aren't aware of where these laws have taken countries overseas that have adopted them. It's sort of acknowledged by people on all sides of the argument that where we start is not where we end up. These sorts of laws change the way that we look at the value of human beings. One of the things that we're seeing out of Holland at the moment is uh, on the way that people's attitudes towards disabled people are beginning to change. It really begins to shift the way that we think about the vulnerable in our society, uh, the suffering in our society, and those who seem to be uh, inconvenient, I suppose, particularly older people um, who already feel a little bit like a burden because they can't do everything, who already struggle with very, very high levels of abuse, um, might actually be made to feel as if death is the only fair choice. There's this idea that death with dignity is being able to choose to die in a way that you want and um, you know that you still feel you've got all your faculties and, and all sorts of things like that. Um, to me this opens the door to the most undignified death possible which is older people whose carers have withheld necessities from them, have coerced them, have done terrible things to make them either feel that life isn't worth living or that they should be dying to make it easier for everyone around them. That is just the most horrific, horrific idea to me. And there's just no way of legislating around these things because people are people. We don't always obey the law and sometimes we try to manipulate it to suit our own ends. We introduce euthanasia laws because we think they're compassionate, but they end up taking us to places that are very cold and very callous.